Misty Doan, and I am joined by my fabulous sister-in-law, Natalie Earnhardt. And? And Jake. He's, he's behind the camera here, answering all your questions and giving us some shout-outs. Thanks for joining us on this lovely Tuesday. Well, it's... Well, Los I mean, Angeles in the house, Costa dreary. Rica, it's California, <laughs> Nebraska, Miami. Awesome. I we think got they all uh, have better, Sweden. better weather than we do. Yeah, I agree. Although it would be Sugar good if Land, you could just stay in and so. Like, yeah, that's true. You know, this isn't terrible. It's not the worst. It's stay yeah, inside I mean, weather for it sure. It is definitely stay inside weather. But we'll Polo, Missouri. Awesome. Not too far away from us. It's great. Well, cool. Welcome, you guys. I don't know if you know this, but Natalie just launched another uh, class, Tackling T-Shirt Quilts. It's super awesome. She goes um, through lots of great tips and tricks about covering T-Shirt, I mean, creating T-Shirt Quilts. It's an awesome class. I learned a whole bunch as we were filming it. And so she came to tell us a little bit about that and to answer some <laughs> questions that came up from that class, right? Yeah, so we did have some fun questions. Um, one of the ones that we got was about using like a sports jersey. Uh, oh, yeah. So like <laughs> I have right here. Yeah, here we I go. happen to have one. My daughter played softball and this is a it's that dry weave sports material. Um, honestly, do it the same as your t-shirts, but use a pressing sheet or a piece of cloth uh, anywhere you're if you're yeah. pressing on the top just just to protect it and keep it and keep your iron on maybe a little bit of a lower setting. But I have put that in this type of material in several t-shirt quilts and it works just fine. Just the same as a regular t-shirt. That's awesome. And so yeah. then another question that came up is, do you have any ideas for someone that wants a full college shirt in the middle and then you have to kind of build off of it? Well, in a, in a way, <laughs> that, that's kind of tricky because it depends what you want. It is an easy starting point though. If you have a shirt that's a certain size, say it's 20 inches, then you know that the rest of your shirts on, on the top, middle and sides needs to fit in those parameters. Yeah. So it's, it's when, all just inspiration and what you have in mind, but yeah, that's a great idea. Well, even if you start with that center and you kind of build your middle row that size, then yes. you can do the other rows different size, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. All of your shirts can be whatever size they need to be as long as your row lengths end up the same or your wits. It can be one or the other. And then uh, just make a match. It's actually really fun to do things like that. Awesome. All right, so. Wait a second. A, what? Linda's saying that her link said, we're live right now. We are? You are with us right now, yeah, Linda. Yeah, we're live. Not 30 minutes ago, we started right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, you haven't missed anything. <laughs> we just got started. We're talking about Natalie's t-shirt quilt class. If you're just joining us. Diane says she has over 60 t-shirts. Please help. Oh, yes. You this is going to be a perfect class. live for you. This is a fun problem. Yeah. This is a good live for you. <laughs> a great problem. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So then um, next question is, when washing your quilt, does the temperature affect the stabilizer? Same with the dryer. So the stabilizer is mainly in your t-shirt quilt to stabilize it while you're sewing those shirts together. Once your shirt or your quilt is machine quilted and bound, when you throw that thing in the washer, the stabilizer will stay inside the quilt. It's not, it doesn't like shrink differently. It stays attached to the quilt and it shouldn't give you any trouble and you shouldn't have to worry about special care instructions. It's just, um, it's, its sole purpose is to make it so that you can sew your shirts together without them stretching and getting wonky. Right, because you have all so, that stretch from the cotton material. That makes sense. Right, right. So, so once out. it is quilted, oh. you don't really have to worry too much about the stabilizer anymore. It's just a lining on the inside of your quilt. Awesome. We have Sharon. It's her first time oh, for a live. Oh, Sharon. And she's from England. Nice Thanks to meet you. Thanks for tuning in. All right. How about once your blocks are sewn together, do you press your seams open or to one side? I almost always press to one side just because that's how I've been trained to quilt, but um, you can really do whatever you want. Yeah. It's personal preference. I mean, preference. mom pretty much just makes it lay flat. Yeah. yeah. Mom presses it so it's <laughs> flat. And that's, it that's really way. the only thing that matters. As long as you can, you know, have flat seams and your points don't look terrible. And with t-shirt quilts, you don't usually have uh, like star points. You usually just have a, a square a crisscross point that's right. not like a bunch of fabric it's only four pieces at, so it's at less max. necessary so yeah you don't have to worry too much about that you can press it whichever direction you want 
I prefer to one side just because I feel like it keeps the seam together. Yeah, that makes sense. And it's it's just what I'm used to doing. Joyce asked if we if I send in the t-shirts to you, will you make us a quilt? <laughs> no, no, wait a second. But you can watch That's this not class exactly. and it'll teach you exactly how to do it. It's so she makes it seem super simple. Yes, like, I, I promise you can do it yourself. You're gonna love it. Yeah, I felt a little intimidated to try a t-shirt quilt and now I'm like, okay, I think I can do this. I'm gonna try it. You can, so. you can totally do it. So you guys can do it too, for sure. Um, let's see, can you use flannel as a batting for a t-shirt quilt and would you need to wash the flannel? Yes and yes. Okay. I would say, <laughs> Anytime you're using flannel and mixing it with any other fabric, I would pre-wash your flannel. Flannel shrinks oh. um, at a higher rate yeah. than regular cotton. It's usually about an inch difference. So um, yes, you can put flannel on the inside to make your, your quilt a little bit lighter weight. But yeah, absolutely wash it first. Yeah, just because sense. it'll it'll shrink at a different rate than all your other fabrics. Well, and most we, likely the t-shirts have been washed and loved and used, and so those have already had all the shrinking done. Right. They're about as small as they're going to yeah, get. Yeah, they're not going to shrink <laughs> anymore, so, so yeah. that makes sense. We did have a question that's off topic, okay. but maybe either we can help or the chat can help. Somebody's saying, talking about storing fabric, and they want to have tips on keeping insects and bugs out of the fabric. Oh. Or moths, I, I usually guess, just use plastic totes. Yeah. Like right. store it all in plastic totes. Mm -hmm. You know what you should get? One of those vacuum sealers. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. And then vacuum seal all your, your fabric would look amazing. So it yeah, so when we ship quilts, we just put them in a, we have a, a plastic bag and we um, put a vacuum cleaner inside and the, the neck of it. So you just like gather it all up real tight and put the vacuum cleaner in it and it sucks out all the air. It sucks out all you do the a air. quick spin and tape it shut. And <laughs> is that and how they're still doing it? Because yep. that's how we did that's it. That is how they're still doing it right now. We're, we're I mean, who knows? Hey, maybe it, it maybe works. we'll improve, but it's functioning great. I was going to so. say it works. Don't if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Make sure you're using the Dyson. No. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, the, another cool thing that kind of came. Plastic totes with dryer sheets. That's to keep ah, it that's fresh. Yeah. Keep it that's, fresh. That's pretty much what we do. Yeah, that's awesome. So another good thing that came out of your like. I think you've made more t-shirt quilts than anyone I know. <laughs> that's like, only because you know me. <laughs> I, that's probably true. But and I'm the one in the family that gets the she, call. She makes oh, all Natalie the t-shirt do it. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so, sure. But so you came up with this template, right? To help yes. make it easier. So tell yeah, us about so this. So one of the things as I was starting out t-shirt quilting, I was trying to figure out how to fit pieces together. And I found that 12 and a half square was pretty common for the logo size in the middle. Um, the next one up is, is closer to 15, and Omnigrid has a great ruler for that that I love. But, but this one was, is cool because we have two, uh, two different size squares, and this little square fits into the middle. But it, um, it's six and a half, and this is 12 and a half, and the cool thing about that is four of these end up being exactly the same size as this one square. So you, you can use this seams. to fussy cut your smaller things that are on the shoulders or the, if you have like a chest pocket, things like that. And then you sew four of them together and your squares are automatically all the same size. The I other thing that. you can do with this is um, cut down here at the six and a half. And then you can put two of those together, two rectangular pieces. Oh, yeah. So this ruler would work for um, two that, like this one, this one has this long, long, long and uh, skinny. Yeah. So I would want just to have that piece rather than having a big section of like plain blue. You can fit more things on there if you, um, if you cut them in different ways. So having that, that six and a half by 12 and a half option and then the four, 12, or four six and a half pieces and then knowing that all of your shirts are going to end up the same size once you've cut them all out with just these two rulers is pretty convenient. Yeah. But see, yeah, it's I, so see, great I forgot that can... I was running the cameras. Oh no! So, it fits right so let me here. give you the top cam view. Yeah, let's do that. They've they've missed all of it. Wait down a little bit towards okay. you. So see, you can you can see through it, so you can see the pattern. Right. It makes it really convenient for lining it up. It's almost like a fussy cut ruler because you can look right through the middle. What? Yeah. We had two we had two questions come in. One was, what kind of stabilizer do you use? We use a midweight um, Pelon product. And any any product, there's heat and bond stabilizers that work great too. That it's just a, um, it's just a midweight stabilizer, t-shirt stabilizer. Uh, I don't remember the SKU number I don't off either. the top of my head. I don't either. 
um, 9-11-F. I think that's right. It is 9-11-F. What? Yeah. It's 9-11-F. That is what it is. <laughs> uh, we look at a lot of SKUs, guys. Let me give you the SKU. <laughs> that's the manufacturer's SKU. <laughs> yeah. So that, anyway. But honestly, there's there's a lot of different um, weights. There's lightweight, medium weight, heavy weight. The heavy weight ones are great for um, for shirts that have a ton of stretch in them, but it will make your quilt heavier. Yeah. It's Pelon fusible featherweight. And there I am running the cameras again. Pelon fusible featherweight okay. to Mary, midweight. Mary's gonna drop a link in the comments so you guys mm -hmm. can check that out there. But awesome. The so other thing was was like different medias because people are saying like, hey, all I have is this certain type type of fabric you like, can the, like a sports jersey versus like a you don't have to find all jersey to sew together a t-shirt quilt right no absolutely not so i put um i have put hoodies i think we have some in into t-shirt quilts i've put sports jerseys and you mix them all what up. about just like cotton fabric? and the other thing yeah so this um this shirt right, hold is up, a 12 hold and up, a half pull it down towards you here let's open this up so i can give oh, okay. some examples uh, this quilt was made using our 12 and a half inch template and then also a 15 and a half because he had some really large logos and also some smaller things. So, yeah, so I want to get where I can show and some. Monkey on the back, that's the winner. Yeah, this is the cuddliest quilt. Yeah, we put cuddle on the back, which is amazing for t-shirt quilts. Just You just want to snuggle Can the in. knit of the t-shirt go through a long arm machine for quilting? Absolutely. Yes. Yep, Absolutely. I always edge to edge my, my t-shirt quilts because I think it helps them stay together so well. Um, but if your t-shirt quilt has embellishments, uh, not your quilt, your t-shirt. So, oh, yes. so a lot of shirts will have like buttons or rhinestones or things right. like that. Jewels. You can include it, but make sure that your long arm person trims around that part because you break you'll break a needle. It's not fun. Yeah. Um, or just leave it out and maybe make that, that particular shirt a pillow or a wall hanging project, something that you can do on your home machine without running it through the, to, or sending it to the long arm. Yeah, that makes sense. And Beth was asking like, what about a hand tie quilt? You can hand tie it. You a totally can hand tie them and that's great. That's, it's so easy. The other thing about t-shirts is um, if you want to be even more creative, you can turn it into a, like a raw edge rag quilt. That's Once true. your t-shirt, your t-shirts don't fray. So the edges would, it, this would be great for a rag quilt project and you just have a, a fuzzy side. Oh, that's fun. I saw yeah. a question coming so like do we, we do sell our, stabilizer? We totally we do, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. do, is it in the link? Stabilizer? Uh, Mary? We put the link yeah. in the comments. Yeah. And we'll get we'll that added to, we'll get that added to the post after the live is over because we can't change that once we're up. But it's in the comments for now. Yeah. <laughs> So, but this, this is a great example too of using like, here's a, a, a football jersey material. Right. Right next to t-shirts, right next, and this strip here is quilter's cotton, so. Yep, and over here you can see, um, so this one, I used the six and a half by 12 and a half to cut this, this family. And then this little piece was too small for the six and a half. So I added this strip and then recut it. So you just cut it so it's the right size. And then you've got six and a half, six and a half and six and a half by 12 and a half. And you can, and then they, they all match. Like it's just so it. convenient so and we easy. We had another question. If you use Minky on the back, uh -huh. what kind of batting do you use? I still use the low loft cotton batting like, or like just regular, regular, regular batting. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, like so just low our regular batting we use. Yeah. And it but you can use you can use any kind of batting you want. It's just like a regular quilt. It really is, yeah. yeah. And, and I think people worry about it being like, too heavy with the minky but like i it doesn't feel it's not crazy it's thick. a really it's, great it's, comforting it's beautiful weight. yeah i agree yeah and yes so. this quilt does have batting in it yes. yes it does but i imagine if you're in warmer climates can you forego the batting if you want to yeah yeah it's a possibility you don't yeah. have to put batting in any quilt that you don't want to put batting right. in have a summer quilt yeah <laughs> that's a thing that is a thing absolutely also just in case you're wondering i bound it with cotton fabric right to the the cuddle quilt so that's not an issue either does that make sense yeah that like, makes sense so the back is is the cuddle the back is cuddle the binding is regular cotton yeah it looks so great so this is kind of on the sports jersey t-shirt so you might pull the jersey up okay uh -huh. but they're asking like hey there's holes for like ventilation could you use that this is a perfect this example this is exactly this one is that kind of shirt and yeah. i did do it so you can so see the holes. i stabilized it stabilized it yep i went ahead and stabilized it and um, I think that actually adds just like a layer of protection too mm -hmm. for the shirt because then you're not having 
a jersey with holes in it straight on the batting. Right. So and then you, there's no batty, batting poking through those little holes. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. So it's worked out great and looks beautiful, and I think it's going to last a good long time. And I think so too. It's so fun. Marilyn Jared graduates so in three weeks. Yeah, <laughs> and you are done so early. I know. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> So good. Do we have any other t-shirt questions or questions about we the template? We definitely sell cuddle. We sell everything. Yeah. Yes. All, all this stuff that we have shown you, the template, um, the cuddle on the back, the stabilizer. We even, even the, sell t-shirts. <laughs> we do have Missouri Star t-shirts. It's true. Um, Nancy's want to know a link to the class. A link to the class. A link to the we class is in that. the post or okay. in the description. You can find that right there um, to Natalie's class. So make sure you check that out. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's super cool. So somebody it's totally just mentioned, doable. Somebody just mentioned that uh, don't use fabric softeners when you're washing your t-shirts to do it because it makes it hard to stick. Oh, interesting. So, I never thought of that before. Because it like makes Sometimes it, the stabilizer doesn't want to stick very well. It might well. be because of that. And I just force it. I just hold that iron on it until it sticks. <laughs> until it stays. She gets the hot glue I'm gun like, on the corner. <laughs> That no. is a good tip. No, but that's very interesting. So yeah, don't dry your, your shirts with dryer sheets and that will help the... Or um, fabric softener. Or fabric, fabric, softener. fabric, softener. fabric softener. softener. Don't wash them with fabric softener. Yeah, that's a good tip. That's awesome. great. I appreciate okay, that. Wait. Yeah. I'll test it out. What yeah. brand and size is the ruler? That's Is that in the link? So the, the Yes, the ruler is in the link as well. This is one of our... Um, our special MSQC MSQC template. exclusive. Yeah, yes. it's exclusive to us. It's one that we just came up with. And I think it's a great tool for t-shirts. Um, you can you can just do a lot of things with it. Yeah, another great, too. Linda it, asked it another great question. It makes life so much easier. Yeah. Do you stabilize before you cut? Yes, absolutely stabilize before you, you cut into a square. So that's a, compl a complicated question, okay? So first, first cutting, I would cut off the, like the sides and just, you know, the neck area. And then, um, then you stabilize. I stabilize the shirt and then I cut the square that I'm going to use in the quilt. So you don't want to waste your stabilizer by, by stabilizing the entire length of the t-shirt. So you kind of want to get like about how big you want your, your right. square to be and cut around that. And I've even just like laid the, if I didn't have a, a pattern on the back, I would just take my cutter and just kind of cut around like this mm -hmm. so that I had most of what I was going to show and then stabilize that section and then cut it with your template so that your edges are nice and clean and your stabilizer has held that shirt together so it's not going to be all out of size. Yeah, and that's a great example. She goes in depth into all that stuff in the class. So if you want to see how she does it and see the step by step, uh, I would definitely grab the class because it's awesome and it'll show you how to do all of that and start to finish different yeah. ways to finish it up. It's really good. So it's good fine. job, Nat. T-shirt quilting is fun. It is fun. No stress. So <laughs> good. All right. So beyond that, we thought we would, we haven't done a project in a while. So we thought we would do a quick project. Um, so wait, wait, there's more? There's more. <laughs> oh, also before we start the project, we have a fun announcement today only from 11. Yeah, this is a big deal. This is a big deal from 11 Central our time to 5 p.m. Central our time. Free shipping on all your orders on the website. Free shipping. So if you, you want heard the it here wow. first, folks. I know. <laughs> so that's already started. Yeah. That's so going it, started, on. it started when our live started. I meant to say it at the beginning and, and forgot because I was so excited you were here. <laughs> so, so free shipping if you guys want to snag any of these great things. Or so if you have stuff in awesome. your cart and you've been waiting for yes. this. Yes. Yep. Now, now's the day. Today's the day. Check out. All right, so we have a project How though. How much is the template? I think the Do link this? with the price is well, in, the, start. So I'll need in the description or the post. So we are going to make an easy tube pillowcase. And Jenny has a tutorial for this, but I realized when we were preparing for this that that tutorial is like 10 years old. It's one of our oldest tutorials. Doesn't surprise <laughs> I me. I know, it's crazy, right? So we thought we would cover this again for those of you who haven't seen it. This one's cute too, that it has is giraffes. so cute with the giraffes. These are some fun um, Susie B creations print. They're part of a panel, aren't they? I believe so. Wait, free shipping everywhere? Probably not. If you, if you live in like Alaska or... Domestic orders only. Yeah, domestic, domestic orders, orders only, only, free shipping. Sorry guys. $5 Sorry. Five dollars off like, all other shipping methods. So. $5, yeah, $5 off, all off all other shipping methods. So you do still get a discount on your shipping if you're out of our um, domestic group. 
All right, so this is super simple. Let is me show today you. April 30th? Yes. Yes, today it's is gonna be May. April 30th. <laughs> Thank you. That's my favorite meme of all time. I love it. <laughs> yeah, you only have one day a year to say that. So right. we're gonna show you how to make this awesome pillowcase that has this little accent stripe and no raw edges around the top. So easy peasy. Mm -hmm. All right, so your main fabric, we're going to use this. Wait, pause real quick. Okay. Mary, this question for you. Hawaii. Let me check. Well, let me check. We're on it. Linda, we're checking. All right, go. Game on. All right. <laughs> let me see how Are you lost? This. So we just have to trim this down, I think Right, but you want to you want to put your strips um, on this fabric so that they're all the same width. Wait. Cuddle isn't 90 yeah. inches wide. How okay. wide is cuddle? cuddle some 60? cuddle is 90. Some Standard is, is but 60. But this is, I think, too long still. I think it's a little long. It is. Yeah, isn't it 27, 27 inches? Yeah, so your main fabric, you need 3 quarters of a yard, 27 inches. So let's, let's lay this up here and trim it down. Chris says she has that panel. Oh, cute. Free standard shipping to Hawaii and Alaska. Free standard shipping to Hawaii. And Alaska. And Alaska. So, Linda, we got your hookup. Now, let's find our ruler. Yep. Here's I'm our big sure. one. And a rotary cutter. Surely there's a rotary cutter in here somewhere. Laura got the new block magazine and said there's good instruction in that first t-shirt quilting. Yes. Yeah, we Thanks, did a little <laughs> we did a little thing in um, a pattern in block as well. But that's not quite not quite as much detail, um, just a good standard pattern. It tells the, the measurements for doing um, a quilt that has all the same size squares and a little fun sashing. Okay, so we cut off that, and then let's move this down. So that was 29, so I need to mark this at the two. This was just the easiest way for me to figure this out. Oh, okay, makes sense. <laughs> Wasting fabric, but easiest given the working space right now. Crisscross cutting. Yeah. That's fancy. Don't do this at home. Be careful. <laughs> Isaac, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. So this is trimmed down now, and then we, then we can cut our next pieces, right? Right. So this is so these 27 ones... inches by the, with the fabric. With the fabric. All right, so this is what right now we're teaching. I think they all a need pillowcase, trim. right? Well, this should be nine inches. I think is so. that right? Yeah, nine inches. Is it longer than that? <laughs> Are you guys okay? We're good. We just right, weren't what, really ready to transition any more questions, into this. We had there, so much about t-shirts. Any more questions on t-shirt quilting? Because this is the last time we're going to get here. All right, so this I one's twelve these were inches. Already pre-cut. They weren't. They should have been. Sorry. In my head, I thought we would need to fill the time, so I left them long. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll measure it. It'll be great. Pat wants us to hold up the t-shirt quilt so we can kind of see what okay. we... Okay. Matt can do that. Yep. It's a big one. So you're probably not going to get the entire thing. Do you need me to hold the other side? Here. There we go. It is monstrous. Beautiful. Oh, good. Get a good shot. Yeah, I yeah. think it's beautiful. It's amazing. Love right. it. It's magical. That would be the best quilt. If you were like I mean, teenager, he should be excited. Dream. It's a dream. I think he'll like it. Is this like a birthday present or something? Graduation? Graduation. Present? He graduates Perfect. in th two or three weeks. Yeah. Where so do we sign up for the t-shirt class? There is a link in the description or the post um, for you to get the class. So this... This strip, this is your cuff fabric right here. And that's a nine inch strip by the width of fabric. That's what I just cut. And then this last one should be two inches, right? Yep, go for it. Gail asked, if I purchase the class, will I always have access to it? Yes. Yes, Yes. absolutely. Yeah, and it's actually super easy to find. If Once you have your class purchased, I, I kind of um, have done a little website exploring and if you go to your 
your account and then it has like a goodies tab or something like that where everything is stored there and you can just get it right yeah. from your account and top secret we're working on like a cool interface for that for these oh, classes yeah. to live in which is going to be fun which is going to make it even but don't better. tell anybody i told you that <laughs> <laughs> don't worry we won't tell all right and so then here's our last strip that we need this is for our little accent kind of piping piece mm -hmm. cool. you're gonna have to go back through those i don't think we caught any of that all right i'll do it again so this all is right, wait wait let me go to the top cam okay we're down a man so that's why i'm yeah, slow we're, here we're a little short today but that's okay so this is 27 inches three quarters of a yard by the width of fabric and this is your main pillowcase body. And look how cute is that? What is this line? This is Susie B. These cute little elephants. Really, really fun. And then you have nine inches. Also, you have three minutes to finish this up. Well, you're just going to have to be patient. <laughs> nine inches by the width of fabric for your cuff. So pull that down towards you just a hair. Okay, like that. And then two inches, this is your little piping accent piece. And then we need to cut off all of this. So we've got to trim this edge. Yeah, we've got to trim off all the selvage edge. And that has a, what? doesn't it have a measurement as you well? You probably just sew. Um, not that I saw, you basically just trim So it as you can see here, they're all the width of the fabric. Yeah, right. But if they're a little bit different, you just make them all the same by yep, cutting. Exactly. All right. So we're gonna trim this. I really should have turned it the other way. You can, go ahead. What? I was just gonna say you can just fold that down if you want because all your stuff part? is, yeah. all your stuff is together and then you can just make one cut by having it folded in half. As long as it's all lined up straight. That's what I'm nervous about. I want it to stay straight. It'll be all right. Close you can, enough, You right? can do this, yeah. All right. All right. And then we will cut off this selvage edge. Sure we've got all of it. There we go. All right. Now there is some magic to this part, right? Mm hmm So we start with our cuff piece and we open it up all the way, right? Yep. Okay. Like so. Yeah, this is the Is coolest. there a code for free shipping? No, oh, we no. just automatically get it. We need, yep, it's just all domestic orders. We'll get free shipping today. Do you want me to press that? Yes, yeah, so we need to press your piping piece in half, your two inch strip. Okay. So let's do that. Oh, we're losing you, Nat. Me? You're too far on Am the I side, just... yeah. Okay. Well, well Natalie is, is pressing our piping I'm piece. I'm pressing off camera. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> And this gets pressed wrong sides together so that the yes. um, right side's facing out. And so we're going to put our, our cuff and then our main fabric. And then our accent. And you want to make sure these are all lined up. And they should be the same since we cut them and measured them all together. All right, here you go. Perfect. And then, so this goes in. Mm -hmm. Wait, show us what you're doing. I don't All right, know. let's, can't see it. So it, it right. gets stacked. Yeah, so we've opened up our fabric to the width of the fabric and we're stacking face up our first, our cuff piece here, yep. which is our nine inch strip. Then our pillowcase, the, the kind of, of the main body. And then our accent strip sewn in half. And we've got all of those Pressed in half. Pressed in half, sorry. <laughs> All of those lined up on this edge. And then we're going to take the body of the pillowcase and we're going to kind of roll it up like so. Nice and easy. Nice and easy up to the top. Not all the way to the top though, but kind of in the middle. Kind of in the middle. Yeah, you don't want to get it caught in your seam. Exactly. Paul, what was your question? Ask me one more time. Wait. All right. Directional cuff. Which way does a cuff need to go? Uh. Oh, if the print is directional on the cuff. <laughs> That's a tough that one. That is a tough question. Well, I would say... Fold it in half, right? So it would be up. So towards the seam, the seam would be the bottom. Yes. So when you roll right. it up, the seam that you're sewing on is going to be the bottom. Yeah, right. 
So the, the, the this, fabric needs this. to go outwards. It'll be upside down on one side and right side up on the on other. On the other. Uh huh. We'll work on that. We'll try and figure that out. <laughs> but so, it really depends on the fabric. Yeah, it too. really does because it depending on which way it's directional. All right, and then let's grab some pins. We got this new sewing machine, and now I can't find any of my stuff. Jake, where'd our pin cushion go? Oh, gee, I oh, got pins right here. We always Here's one. Fit. There it is. I was gonna say it's always on set. <laughs> there we go. All right. So then now we're Cut going some. to just pin all of our layers together so that they stay where we want them and kind of recheck that they're lined up right. I'm gonna pull that more into the middle. Sure. Go. So you're sewing through one, two, three, four, five layers of fabric. Paula, we're not changing the website. This is a secret. It's free shipping. Go for it. <laughs> you got to spread the word. Yeah. Just today. Just today. Today only from 11 to 5 central. All right. So this is kind of the most important step, because you want to make sure everything stays lined up. Oh, oh I pinned it the other way, but that's will right. change it. You can just start sewing and take those out as you Debbie's go. Debbie's asking sure. if there's a pattern for the t-shirt quilt. There isn't a pattern, there's but there a is pattern a There's a pattern for the one that we put in, in block. In block magazine, yeah. And it's just straight uh, 12 and a half inch blocks with a two and a half inch sashing, a cornerstone, and then we put little legs, or star legs, um, in the sashing, so it has little wonky stars in it. It's really cute. Yeah. All right. So we're going to get this <laughs> lined up and we're just going to take a quarter inch seam and we're going to sew all the way down the length of this tube that we've made. I'm like a madman, running around, running cameras, switching. <laughs> Look at you go. <laughs> also trying to ask your questions. So You're if I'm missing great. them, ask them again. Make sure you get all those pins out before you sew over them. Yep. Just take them out as you go. There we go. Almost there. Brent Richardson is on. Hello from Thanksgiving Point. Hello, Dad. All right. <laughs> there we go. So now we have this whole tube, and we just start pulling it out. Oh, shoot. Hold up. All right. I'm, mess I'm making... There you go. We're there. We're All back. right. So now we want to just start turning it. Yep. Right sides out. And this is so cool because it will enclose all of your seams inside. In the cuff. In the cuff. I mean, some would say magic. It is it's magic. Pretty magical. It's pretty magical. Ta-da! Isn't that amazing? So you can see we've got our cuff here at the top. We have our little piping piece. We're just going to press all of this flat. Give it to Nat. She's already off camera. Well, all I was right. going to say, yeah. <laughs> I might have missed a little piece right here, so we'll have to go back and tack that. But where is our other pillowcase right here. Ah, there it is. Okay, perfect. So you can see once we've done that, we just finished this one using a French seam so that there's no raw edges at all on this, which is really easy to do. You could also just serge it. You just fold it in half and make hold, a- Show it on like, I'm trying. hold it on the I've table got, or something. I gotta turn it inside out first. I'll get there. All right. But yeah, we just... No, the pillowcase isn't sideways. It's going to get folded in half Yeah, now. it gets folded in half and stitched. And then I'm you stitch sure. up the side there. So to do a French seam... Right, you leave you it... You stitch it right side right out. Right sides out. 
and, and then so, it, so you just you're basically doing this you're doing this seam twice yes so you're going to sew it together right side out first then you're going to flip it and sew it back down inside out and that let's, will enclose let's just the sew raw it regular edges. this time well you're here we'll do so normal. we can get it done well let's just show them it's a french seam is not hard and a lot of people are afraid of it so let's just show them we're here and we've right, got sorry. this to do so, it let's so, do it super easy it's super super easy to do all right so we are going to like natalie said we've got uh right sides out which is a little bit different than your traditional seam that's what makes it scary for people so you're going to start we're just going to take a regular quarter inch seam rebecca hasn't received her last two block magazines oh that's weird no check call us yeah definitely call us call but us check if your uh sometimes your credit card Expires, expires or and then you have to refresh the information in there. Different things happen. Yeah, but customer service will take care of you. <laughs> Holly, right. we're showing the French theme. We're showing the French theme. I'm we sorry. Are showing the French theme. Yeah, those wonder clips are great instead of pins. I like I like wonder clips. Yeah, that would hold it together really oh, well yeah. as well. Your tube. Yep. Bruce so says patience is a virtue. That's true. <laughs> Listen, I don't possess very much patience, but <laughs> I'm trying. I'm learning. We have gone down the side. Now we're going to do the bottom. And then, once you've done that, you can see here, we just took a quarter inch seam along the top and the bottom. And now you're gonna turn it inside out. I'm so slow on this thread. I'm so sorry. I'm reading your guys' comments and I keep forgetting. I normally have another person switching. Yeah, we switching. usually have an extra person, but he is actually on his way to uh, Thanksgiving Point to help out at Tulip Fest, so. Michael is traveling today. So we're gonna turn our corner. And probably we wanna You press do wanna this. press it, yeah. Yep. Press it nice and flat. It's nice to have extra hands. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Sue said I learned French seems in home ec. Awesome. French seams are nice. They just take a they, little bit more time. They take a little bit, I mean, because you're sewing the seam About twice. double. <laughs> About double. About <laughs> double. <laughs> that's true. That is accurate. But they, you don't have any raw edges. So that's the benefit of it. And on a pillowcase or something like this, it's worth it. So because that first seam was a quarter inch, you want to make sure it's a little bit larger. So at least three, three eighths eight. or a half inch if you want extra room in there. So that's what we're going to do. I'll start up here. Sylvia actually. says, what is a block magazine? Block magazine block is magazine. Natalie can tell cool. us about that. Yeah, Nat, tell us about Block while I sew this. So Block magazine is the um, the publication that we put out that is um, full of patterns that coordinate with the YouTube videos. So we have ten patterns in each issue. There's six issues in a year, and each pattern that we do, we try to tell a story that is. Um, related to our family or to people that we know. We've been including stories from our employees and their families and friends. Um, and so it's just a really beautiful, detailed book that gives you ideas for quilting and um, all the patterns and all the measurements and, and details that you need to make the quilts that you see on YouTube. So. And fun stories too, it's great. Yeah. It's, yeah, and fun. the cool thing is, is there's no ads in it. No there's ads. No ads. And it's, and it's so a it's, great deal. So it's full. Every single page has information for you on it. There's yeah. nothing, you know. And we have like our photographers take great pictures and it's, yep. it's awesome. It's a lot really of fun. beautiful pictures. We're and pretty lots of proud details. of Block. Yeah. A lot of hard work and love goes into that. It's fun. And that's actually All Natalie's right. baby. It <laughs> is. All right, there we go. So now we've, we've taken a little bit wider seam there, and then we can turn it right sides out, and they will all be enclosed. Voila. And you can just press that up out again, nice and smooth. 
and it turns out Donna was saying so a great. serger would be a great finish. A serger is great, but if you it's, don't have a serger, yeah, it's so great. Then a French seam is a great option. It just gives you enclosed, enclosed seam. Yep. Can we get the Block magazine in England? Yes, a la carte. Buy individual seams. Yep. yep. You can buy individual issues, and there's also uh, digital versions available. Right. I don't think so. Our... Would just be shipping would be hitting you hard. Yeah. yeah. I don't think we have our international subs uh, subscription, subscription all the way all figured the way. out. Yeah. Yeah. We I think just, we have it available in Canada. I maybe? believe so. Yep. Just to Canada. We're working on it though. We are, that's always on our to-do list. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I think that's it. Ta-da. Ta-da. We made Hold it. it up. Yep. Super quick and easy. This is such a fun project for gifts, for kids to donate to children's hospitals, all kinds of great things you can, uh, use these this fun pillowcase pattern for it is awesome to so make cute. trick or treat bags giant <laughs> yeah. trick or treat bags <laughs> wow <laughs> my kids always well the gideon actually gave me that idea because he wanted to use his giant like transformers pillowcase for a trick or treat bag he thought it would be the best one i was like That's okay funny. i mean i'm i'm Fine. giving them like smaller and smaller pails i wish they they make <laughs> right? them too big anyway i know i don't want them to have all that candy to bring home but hey if you make your pillowcase cool enough your kid might want to use it that's all i'm saying <laughs> for a trick-or-treat bag well awesome we hope you guys enjoyed this yes thank you so much for joining us natalie thanks for being on here with us and yeah. talking about Anytime. your awesome t-shirt class and your template so get the t-shirt class get the template make yeah. pillowcases make t-shirt quilts just make something today that's what we're all about <laughs> <laughs> all the fun stuff. all the fun things you guys have a fabulous week and we will see you next tuesday all right see you guys Bye. Bye. yeah